Meghan Markle has become the Duchess of Cringe since leaving the royal family. She thought she and Harry would go off to Hollywood and become these major stars and influencers and really have a big platform within the entertainment industry. But they have totally and completely bungled their careers in Hollywood. Essentially, everybody in the industry thinks they're a joke. Even the Hollywood Reporter came out yet again against Harry and Meghan, calling out their hypocrisy as part of the class of 2023. And this is something that will stick with Harry and Meghan for a long time. And I don't think Meghan Markle participating in a coffee advertisement is just going to change anybody's mind anytime soon. This entire 30 second clip is cringy. It's bad acting. It's sort of a ridiculous premise. And Meghan Markle goes through four or five outfit changes for the sole reason of promoting this brand so that she can get people to buy it so she can make money. That is what Meghan and Harry have become. It's all about the money. It's not about the charity. It's not about the philanthropy. It's not about anything else but the two of them making money. But the unfortunate thing is they're both sort of allergic to making money because they don't really have talent. They don't really have a hard work ethic. And I think this little advertisement proves that and proves how ridiculous they are. And yes, her fans flock to this little thing, but I think it's really, again, another disastrous step for Meghan Markle because if this is the last thing we see of her this year. It is utterly cringy and kind of caps off their absolute disastrous 2023, which I will be doing a whole video about because it's their Anubis Horribus. It's been terrible for them. And we need to discuss the anatomy of failure. How did Harry and Meghan feel so catastrophically badly? And this is another symptom of it. No self-respecting world would ever be seen doing something like that. And we will be dissecting a little bit of that today. But if you guys haven't been to Royal News Network, my name is Brittany. I provide y'all compelling royal commentary. So if you want to hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome. I would love to have you back. And I do have a royal newsletter as well. So I'll be doing a wrap up email and then starting really getting back to it in the beginning of the year. And I also have an upcoming trip to Scotland. So if you want to check out the Scottish Highlands with me going on these amazing adventures in the glorious, glorious Scottish atmosphere, I would love to have you come. I spent about three months in Scotland several years ago. I absolutely love it. It's going to be an amazing trip, even going up to the Isle of Skye. There's pretty castles and everything. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the castles. And for others, there is a whiskey tour. We also get to go to like the Highlands Museum and stuff. So, so many things. So if you guys are interested in that, feel free to check out the link down below. And if you like any of my jewelry, I got my X ring here, some pretty earrings, and I got a necklace here, just a solitary diamond necklace. They're all from Anna Lucia Diamonds. Again, link is in the description down below if you need to a last minute Christmas present or you just want to get a Christmas present for yourself. I don't know about you, but I shop for other people, but then I end up buying a lot for myself. So I did get actually a super, super cool gift today. And I'll show you a picture of it because I don't want to go all the way downstairs and grab it. But I managed to find the life edition of the coronation, which I thought was so cool and so awesome to have. This is from 1952. And I was so thrilled to get this because I love history. I love old books and stuff. I have a pretty big collection. And so to find this Time Magazine piece, especially having gone to Charles's coronation, I felt like was just just a super great cap off to the year. So back to this little advertisement with Megan. And there's a lot of things you can read into this. And on the surface, I will say it's not terrible, but I think it's the intentions behind it that are the issue here. So the advertisement essentially goes like this. The woman who is the head of this coffee company, she brings people to through their little fulfillment operations, and you happen to spot Megan four times. Fulfilling orders, doing something on a computer, handing off coffee, and attempting and failing to do a fist bump. And looking at it, I just was like, what? What is she doing? Why is she doing this? This is so weird. Because yes, sure, she has invested in this company, but why is she doing an advertisement for them because the thing with Harry and Meghan is, is that they left the royal family because they're like, service is universal, we can do service anyway. And yes, they're going to make money, but it's how they're going about making that money that leaves just a little bit of that cringe that, you know, sort of, I, have, I hate to say it, Fergie level cringe in your mind because it's so self-serving and it's so contrived because Meghan Markle first starts out when this video begins in the fulfillment area and she's wearing a white sweater here. Now, 100%, we know, 100%, Meghan Markle 
doesn't fulfill any orders there. She doesn't, she doesn't. She was play acting the whole time. She's not doing any of that because she doesn't care. All she cares at the end of the day is that company is going to make her money, hopefully. And so she is play acting there in the corner. And there's this one point where it's a wide angle and then it goes to a, a, a closer up angle to make sure, oh, you see Megan, right? Megan is right there. Do you see Megan Markle? Look, it's Megan Markle. Even though they're not saying it, they're like, Megan Markle, Megan Markle, Megan Markle. I was like, Okay, so you're doing this behind the scenes thing of the company, but it's clearly all about, look, look, there's Meghan Markle. There's Meghan Markle by herself because Meghan Markle's there. So she's there, but she's not there. And then they move on and they're sitting at desks talking about their digital team. And Meghan Markle, she studiously has glasses on and she's typing on the computer. And wouldn't you know it? She's wearing a different top. But the person narrating the video is not wearing anything different. So Meghan Markle is changing things and I, I sort of get the intention here. The intention here is to seem like she is fulfilling three or four different roles. The problem I see with this is that just changing your shirt doesn't really fulfill that. And yes, adding glasses may give you a little bit of something, but you know, her hair really should be up. She should be doing something like really different because otherwise, Really, it's just the same. And it's once again a thing to point out going, oh, there's Meghan Markle. Do you see Meghan Markle? Meghan Markle back there. And we also know as well, Meghan knows nothing about digital. She is not somebody who can contribute to that in any sort of way. She's basically there to give out people endless platitudes and pump them up for the Christmas season. Because again, the purpose of this advertisement is not to highlight the work behind the scenes of the company. Why? Because it entirely focuses on Meghan Markle. Who cares about the rest of the staff? Meghan Markle is there. She's the only one that matters. She's the only one that matters. Now, would it have been better if perhaps Meghan Markle was narrating and showing other people working like the actual workers? That to me would make infinitely more sense than her faking working and taking roles away from other people within the company. Again, it's a self promotional tool here. It's not here to help support those who are perhaps working longer hours in order to fill the, fulfill the orders of the season. It's there to promote Megan. It's there to promote Megan. And then we move on to the next scene where Megan Markle hands her a coffee cup or a cup of something from a refrigerator. And again, it's all about their look. There's Megan Markle. And again, we all know Megan Markle doesn't hand anybody anything. She wants to be handed things. Megan Markle has taken this royal thing. And again, it all depends on the situation. It all depends on how you meet Megan. You can meet the two sides of Megan. There's the, the gracious, wonderful, seemingly perfect Megan Markle. And then there is the bully that we got described by many of the former royal staffers. Those are the two Megans you could have perhaps meet. And when it comes to Megan Markle, you could obviously say who is the alleged bully. I think she looks down on anybody who has a more menial role. And so she would never hand somebody a coffee cup she wants to be handed things. She wants to be addressed in a certain way. And we, again, we saw this in an article with the Wall Street Journal talking about how Spotify would have to go through 12 people to hit Megan and Harry and then get back to the producers. That's a problem. If you have such a long chain of communication before you get to the principal person that needs to make the decision, that drags and slows everything down within the process. You need to somebody who can make the decision on the fly, result and move things quickly. That's what you need to be able to do. And then the last bit, Megan is of course, center screen going to do a fist bump, which she totally fails. She's talking on the phone. She's looking very busy and they obviously laugh because she misses it. And I understand why they kept it in there because you could say it's kind of funny, but looking through this whole thing, there's a big, big problem here. And that is that it's there entirely to service Megan, to make Megan look good, to make it look like Megan is the hard worker. Megan really cares about clever. And I would argue that Megan really doesn't care about a lot of things. She has a couple of things she cares about, but her heart is in material things and it's also in money. Megan Markle invested in Clever because she wants it to make money. And she believes her presence in a video like this will help it make money. The problem is that, is that Megan Markle's a pretty toxic person and her public reputation right now is pretty dismal. And I don't think this helps. Like I'm thinking about WME, how does this help? How does this help Meghan Markle's dismal public reputation? Because we all know she's not working. We all know she's, and again, we had another two outfit changes. So she wore black jeans, I think the whole time, and then just changed her shirt. And it's like, why? Because we know you're not a different person. You're not even separating yourself out enough. You're not putting your hair up. You're not doing anything enough to make us think it's a different person. So if you are trying to play four different people, it 
doesn't even work because we all know you never did enough to disguise yourself to make us think even for a second that you were not Meghan Markle. If she had done more to disguise herself and it's like a really like an Easter egg, if you can spot it, then I'd be like, oh, that is somewhat clever. But no, no, no. It's really they're all about to promote Megan, because Megan needs the attention. Megan needs the reevaluation of her public reputation. Clever does not. I don't think it benefits Clever at all to include her in this, but she is their investor. And so they're thinking, well, we have this great investor. We should get more people to buy it because they love Meghan Markle. The problem is people don't like Meghan Markle. And because they don't like Meghan Markle, I don't think including her this is really going to help their brand in any sort of way. So what should she do to amend her brand? And this will maybe touch on some of the things I might go over in a video later talking about Harry and Meghan's disastrous year. But really the true thing here for Meghan Markle would be not to do something silly like this because we don't need this silliness. We've already seen it. We've seen it in the Ellen DeGeneres issue where she basically made a fool of herself doing a very undignified school squat for the entertainment of others. Like, I would never do that. I'd be like, are you crazy right now? Like, she literally made fun of herself and had people making fun of her on national television. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And obviously most of what she's done has been the source of derision. So she's not playing against that. She's almost playing into it. And I don't think it helps her all that much. What she really should be doing and what her and Harry really should be doing is taking a couple of steps back. We don't need to see Meghan Markle front and center. She already has a bad reputation. This is not going to do anything to amend that. The people who love Meghan Markle are already going to love this. The people who don't like Meghan Markle are going to see think it's bizarre and cringy. So she's not doing herself any favors here. The best thing Harry and Meghan could do right now is actually to be pretty quiet and to stand back and not say anything at all, not do anything at all. All it reminds us is, is that, well, is that she enjoys play acting, but she doesn't really enjoy work. Harry and Meghan, in order to be successful, they need to work hard. There are long hours, there are short days, there are challenging things that they have to do, but they don't wanna do any of those things. They just want the easy peasy way out. They wanna do something for five seconds and then go on to their merry ways. They don't really want to put the work in behind to make themselves successful. And so it's almost like Meghan Markle participating in this is almost a mockery of people who are actually working hard at the company. Meghan Markle probably spent about, <laughs> This may be a little short, but maybe an hour or two there at the most. I mean, this is a simple video. It wasn't that hard. And so it wasn't like she had to work super hard at this. There were a lot of cuts. So it's not like she had to be there all day actually working. She didn't. She popped in, she had some fun, and then she left. Because that is what Meghan Markle has done this whole time. She goes in and she does the simple things, the least amount of things she can do. And then she leaves the rest of it to everyone else. And within the industry, I think they all know, especially even with this Hollywood Reporter bit again, is that Harry and Meghan are a bit of a joke. And so she's almost playing into herself as a joke when right now they need people to take them seriously. And they're not doing that. They need to promote serious work. They need to do serious things, not these jokey things. And what I think really puts a bad taste in my mouth when it comes to this is that this is purely a Christmas advertisement telling people, oh, Meghan Markle's investment, Meghan Markle here, look, 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 Meghan Markle likes our brand. And so you buy it for a Christmas thing in order to make Meghan Markle money. That is what this whole ad is about, is making Meghan Markle money by hiding the fact that she has a connection to it. And again, she has invested, and yes, obviously you want your investment to pan out, but the thing about Royals is, is that they promote things with no financial gain from it. The charity, whatever the foundation they're working with, that organization is the one who gets money. They don't directly monetarily benefit from a lot of the work they're doing. So Catherine and William, for example, don't get a salary from Earthshot. Catherine doesn't get a salary from the Early Years Project. They don't get a salary from the charitable work they're doing or any of the perhaps business investments they have. If they have business investments, we don't know it because they don't tell us that. And that's perfectly fine. If they don't tell us, we don't know. But if they're starting to go to, let's say, events and promoting a certain business by going to their events, if they're getting a financial kickback from it, that's that's problematic. And yes, Harry and Meghan are no longer working royals. And that's how Owen Scobie says, like he's totally slammed the door in their face going, they're irrelevant, they don't matter, like who cares about them and the rest of the royals. But the reason we care, the reason it's important, the reason we can't ignore it is because she's doing all of this 
with the title The Duchess of Sussex. That is what she's doing this with. She's not just Meghan Markle, she is the Duchess of Sussex and she makes sure nobody ever forgets that. And for her actions to have such a monetary gain, I really think, again, reflects badly on her and Harry because they haven't separated themselves enough from the royals. They're still acting like royals. I call them cosplay royals anymore because that's what they are. They are cosplay royals. They are faking being royalty in order to promote themselves. They are wanting to have all those royal connections, all that royal influence, but not willing to do any of the hard work to make it happen. Instead, they're doing silly videos like this in the hope that a brand, which sure has a reach, but a small one, will make more money so it makes Meghan Markle more money. And perhaps even that investment isn't having any dividends right now. And that's sometimes the name of the game when it comes to investments. But I think again, Harry and Meghan are really starting to hurt for money. They've plowed through a lot of their money. We know how many private flights they take, which is a lot. We know how expensive Meghan Markle's jewelry is. Most of it's five figures at least, like just for a bracelet that she wears constantly. And the ridiculous 24 hour security that they have, which is draining them, including all the lawsuits and everything they're filing. So they have to, at some point, be really hurting for money. And this advertisement, all it does is remind me of that, is that they're really hurting for money and she's willing to do anything in order to make sure they make a couple more bucks in order to salvage what remains of their brand. And so how could Harry and Meghan change this? Again, it's like being quiet, stepping away, and actually working and producing projects. We have yet to hear any official word of any project. And within the entertainment industry, we get a lot of reports of some projects in the works. Yes, they go through development hell, but they're in the works. All sorts of things going on. Or Meghan Markle again could release archetypes on her own. I thought it was fascinating in their Christmas announcement, they removed Archwell Audio. So it's like, so if Spotify is not paying you, you're not doing anything with it? Which tells me that Meghan Markle never really cared about archetypes. She never cared about it. She only cared that it was part of her agreement with Spotify and they were gonna make her money. She didn't care about the actual product. Because if you feel strongly about a product and somebody else is like, nah, you know what, I don't think so. Well, go into the marketplace and try to prove it. Try to prove your product if you're that proud of it. Or if that one didn't work, try to come up with something else. I think again, that whole Christmas card scenario just reminds us of how much of a failure they are is that they're willing to drop something as soon as somebody's not paying them to do it. They're willing to totally and completely drop a project if it's not reaching their bank account. And yes, sometimes you don't make money from doing things. Like when I first started here, do you think I was making money on YouTube? No, but did I work really hard, build an audience, build a brand, build different things, and now it's reaching dividends? Yes, have I had setbacks? Of course. Do I wish I could do things better sometimes? Yes, absolutely. But hard work does pay off. But Meghan Markle is not willing to do any of that. All she's willing to do is fake it and put out cringe videos looking like she actually cares. When all that matters are the Benjamins in her bank account. So guys, let me know what you think about this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.